Hello and welcome to our technical bites. Today we're looking at the Relative Strength Index or the RSI. Now this is a momentum indicator used to measure the magnitude of price movements in order to determine whether an asset uh, appears overvalued or undervalued. Now it's normally plotted on a 14 day period and it is shown as an oscillator, that's a line uh, usually displayed underneath the price action of the uh, of the asset in question, and it moves between uh, 0 and 100. Anything above 70 indicates that the RSI is telling us uh, that it's overbought or overvalued and maybe due a correction. Anything below 30 uh, tells us that it's undervalued or oversold and therefore may be due an uptick. Now we also want to look at the RSI uh, for its ability to tell us about divergence and that's something that we'll look at now in the platform. Okay so let's look at the charts here and we'll explain a bit more about how the relative strength index actually works in practice. Now what we're doing with the relative strength index um, which you can see here on the chart is uh, that's the RSI, it's a 14 day typical RSI, that's the standard level as we've discussed. Um, what we're looking for with RSI is not just overbought, oversold conditions. Uh, they are useful, of course, uh, as we've discussed, anything above uh, 70 uh, seen as overbought, uh, anything, uh, anything below 30 seen as oversold. But I want to look at divergence specifically here in this case. And we've got a chart here, Aussie dollar. Um, what we've got are two green lines. This is price action up here. Uh, we start here, this is June 21. Uh, we can see a uh, descending trend. Pretty clear pattern there. Um, what's happened? Uh, the price has just continued to roll off. At the same time, um, what we've actually seen is a series of higher lows on the RSI. Uh, actually goes uh, a little bit more aggressive towards the second half of that range, that time scale. So you can see they're getting quite uh, moving on. Uh, moving higher and higher and higher. It then uh, runs into this longer term um, uh, area of resistance on the RSI. So you've got this divergence and it keeps on moving higher and higher. What happens is it, kick, it hits this resistance up here, its own resistance, and kicks lower. So you initially think, uh, well, that divergence was no good. But it just has to get this bottoming out phase. This is the washout. This is the sort of period, the throw over that happens. So that shakes out all the weaker hands. Um, and then once you break this resistance, the longer term resistance there on the RSI, you actually start to see it really start to kick on. So um, interesting one, that one. Uh, it shows the sort of complexities. Uh, it's not just a straight read. You can't just say, well, look, you're getting higher lows on the RSI. Um, whilst the price action keeps falling. So I'm going to go long because you, you could have gone long here um, and you'd have suffered losses down through that uh, down through that phase there. So it's a complicated one. It's not one to use all in its own. You should always look for other indicators as well. Um, the, uh, the old MACD, which we have above here, is also useful in this regard. But that's a sort of explanation there for the kind of divergence uh, that you're looking for with the RSI. So um, nice, simple one there. Uh, price action is getting lower and lower, uh, but on the RSI, you're actually making higher lows. Uh, you then see some more technical breakdowns here around this a longer term resistance area on the RSI. I mean, it stretches way back, um, but that's a nice one there. And then it's once you break out here, you start to see the momentum move much more strongly to the upside. That's all about the relative strength index. Uh, stay tuned here for more technical updates.